umbrella in a rainy news storm. And with me at the desk is my cozy cup of soup on a rainy day, Rosie oh, Rose Matthews. I'm gonna warm you up. Okay, well, that's your story. I have a story you are not gonna believe, Drew. Newsweek reports a woman on Reddit confessed that she s swapped her wife's mean cat for a different cat. <laughs> a nice cat, and to this day, her wife has no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I couldn't believe this. She claimed it happened back when they were dating. Uh, her then girlfriend was out of town and she went over to feed her <laughs> black cat and the cat like scratched her to smithereens. So, so she went to the shelter and she got a nicer black cat, <laughs> found a home for the other black cat. And now six years later, the wife has no idea. <laughs> I think this is totally naughty. And I'm not really big on lies in relationships. Yeah. And this one feels like a pretty big one. Yeah. But it's like, meet the parents, but nobody ever finds out Jinxie Cat isn't like the painted tail rescue. Like, how did you not know that wasn't your cat? If I have three chihuahuas. If you replaced one, it'd be like, cute chihuahua, where's mine? <laughs> Thanks, so. <laughs> well, we're a pair of hopeless romantics at this desk, mm -hmm. and we like to keep our antennas up for fun new ways to find love. <laughs> Today, we've got a modern take on the old school personal ad. The New York Times reports Hot Singles is a weekly email newsletter that drops a new hottie in your inbox every week. It's put together by Rhonda Sakala, and you can subscribe for free. You'll meet eligible singles like plant-based princess looking for a romaine tick partner. Yes, you did. <laughs> Let us applaud. Or this city bike boy looking for a city bike bay to take him for a <laughs> ride. Okay. Each ad includes a photo and a Q&A to get to know your hottie a little better. It's funny because hot singles gives me like sort of young, trendy, like sexy vibes. And I feel like this is a little bit more old world, a little more patient, a little more thoughtful. This is not the boom. Yeah. So hot singles, the, like the name doesn't kind of measure up to the sort of old worldness of being patient, waiting weekly, responding in a letter, personal ads. Yeah. Can I ask you some questions that you could answer in this hot singles ad? Sure. Okay. Um, what are you looking for in a partner? Someone who can be nice every day. Oh, that's good. Huh. And I wish but, these things for everybody. Yeah. You know, I have to say, if I wasn't engaged and, you know, if... Straight. Straight. <laughs> I mean, those are a couple big hurdles, but we could have really get it off. <laughs> we really, something could have happened here. As they say in real estate, there's always going to be something. <laughs> okay, here's the most interesting question. Oh. What is your most toxic trait? Oh. Like, what's the red flag of you? Like, I really am hard on myself, like, toxically so. The inner dialogue is corrosive. I'm like... You are so good to other people, and then you get to yourself, and it's just like no, no room for error. Can I challenge you to something? Please. Next time you're spiraling on yourself, will you just say to you, Drew, I'm going to treat you as well as you treat Ross, because you are so good to me. You are. You're so kind, and you're so loving, and you're so sweet. So if you wouldn't say it to me, don't say it to you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> That's a good oh challenge. God. Take it. And I have to tell you, Ross, hmm. if anyone ever messed with Rossi. Oh, look at that face. Oh. I will take you down. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, so Reddit is really good for cat confessions, but it turns out it's also good for planning a worm party. A what now? Yes, romper.com reports that one mom wrote in to a Reddit post titled, Daughter Insists on Wormed Theme Birthday. Okay. And she got flooded with suggestions on how to make her whimsical worm party of her five-year-old's dreams. People shared dirt cake ideas with little gummy worms oh, inside of cute. them. Oh, yeah. And we did our own digging. <laughs> and found out 
Worm dogs, those are like hot dogs that look like you're eating little worms. Oh, okay. We also found worm pizza, worm dirt cups for dessert. Uh-huh. Um, like really, it's just chocolate. Yeah it's, yeah, it's just like ground up like It's cookies. a pudding. It's, yeah, and then pudding in the middle. Pudding. <laughs> um, oh, and look, we even found you some worm balloons. Cute, oh, with a little googly eyes, look. Cute. Well, from worms to workplace, this is interesting. A new survey finds that the highest performing teams at the office are the teams who are having the most fun. Insider reports a survey of 1,000 workers found the most productive teams were also most likely to be joking around, sharing gifts and emojis, swearing together. Oh! Uh-huh. I would be... I, if swearing led to anything, I would excel at it. Yes, you would. You, you're a winner. You do. I love swearing. I yeah. love it so much. Well, they also say not just swearing, but gossiping makes you more productive, too. What? Um, and for, for bosses, the survey found that the number one thing you can do if you're a boss to improve performance is to give credit and recognize hard work. There's nothing bad that comes out of telling people that they're doing a good job. Yeah. But I do love that people who swear and have fun, this is my best news ever. <laughs> and then on the gossip front and information and pop culture and all exciting tidbits, well, guess what? Nichelle Turner, my amazing friend from Entertainment Tonight. She's gonna come out here right after the break and tell us all about 